Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you get go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare? Should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you in me? Will you let the blinded see if I but call your name? Will you set the prisoners free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you in me? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Friday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. As we gather here today rejoicing in the Lord's mercy for us, we must first ask God to forgive our sins. And let us rejoice that the Lord is inviting us to follow him. And by following him to change not only our lives, but the lives of others. For the times we have failed, let us beg for forgiveness. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to the things that ever endure, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of King Joachim, son of Josie, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the house of the Lord and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them and omit nothing. Perhaps they will listen and turn back each from his evil way so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict upon them for their evil deeds. Say to them, thus says the Lord, if you disobey me, not living according to the law I have placed before you, and not listening to the words of my servants, the prophets, who I have sent to you constantly, though you do not obey them, I will treat this house like Silo, and make this city to which all the nations of the earth shall refer when cursing another. Now the priests, the prophets, and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. When Jeremiah finished speaking all that the Lord bade him to speak to all the people, the priests and the prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. Why do you prophesy in the name of the Lord? This house shall be like Silo, and this city shall be desolate and deserted. And the people gathered around Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Love in your great Lord in your great love answer me. Lord in your great love answer me. They outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause, too many for my strength, as they who wrongfully are my enemies, must I restore what I did not steal. Lord in your great love answer me. 
Since for your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face, I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? And his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Poor Jeremiah. Remember the beginning of the book of the prophet Jeremiah? Before you were born, I knew you in, my, in your mother's womb. I formed you. And now Jeremiah gives this task. God gives him a task. And did you listen to what the Lord said to him? The word of the Lord said to me, I want you to go. And I want you to tell them the message that I have. And then he says to them, not only do I want you to tell the message, but omit nothing. Whatever I command, you let them know, omit nothing. And then the Lord puts this on Jeremiah that perhaps then I will repent, I will relent from the evil that I am going to inflict upon the house of Israel. And then the Lord really just gives Jeremiah a message. If you disobey me, not living according to the law that I have placed before you, not listening to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey you. I mean, how many times does the Lord offer Israel a chance to repent? It's over and over and over again. But you know, when they listen to these words, they do not want to repent. They become angry. And they become angry with Jeremiah. And now they say, you must die. You must die for prophesying this way. You must die because you told us what God said for you to tell. And so here's Jeremiah thinking he's doing, well, knowing he's doing what God wants him to do. Probably thinking because it is the word of God, it will have effect upon them. And instead, it does have effect, but the opposite of what Jeremiah expected. They did not repent. They did not relent. In fact, they attacked the messenger. And they told him he must die. Sometimes the word of God is not accepted. Not only back in the time of Jeremiah, but even today in our world. How many times is Jesus' words rejected? Not us. Don't tell us how to live. Don't tell me what is right or wrong, good and evil. Many times the Lord reminds us that he gives us two options. He gives us the option of prosperity in life or emptiness and death. There are two paths. And the Lord gives us every grace to follow the path 
that leads to eternal life. And sometimes that might mean listening to messages that make us uneasy, uncomfortable. But they're meant for our salvation. They're meant for us to repent and to change. So today, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace that we may hear his word. And unlike the people of Jeremiah who rejected it, to accept it, to repent from our sins, and to follow in the footsteps of our Savior. It is with humble hearts that we come before the Lord and we offer him our petitions. For all of us in God's holy church, may the Lord continue to bring us to a deeper love and understanding of the most holy Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of the world, may the Lord guide all leaders of nations in promoting peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, for the greatest respect for all human life from the moment of conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who live in poverty, may the abundant love and grace of Christ bring them resources and relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For anyone among us who struggles in the face of doubt or fear, may the Lord help us to know his face and feel his strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed, for those who suffer from addictions or mental illness, for those who suffer from depression. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who have died in the light of faith. May they experience God's mercy and live with him forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of your needs, your intentions that we bring to our Heavenly Father in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now unite our prayers into one. We lift them up to our Heavenly Father and we pray as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we know that you hear us. Please answer these prayers in ways you deem best for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We now turn to our Blessed Mother in this time of unrest in our world and in our nation. And we pray for her maternal protection and her powerful intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Will you love the you you hide if I but call your name? Okay, I'm sorry, I messed that one up. <clears throat> Will you love the lo you you hide? No. <laughs> Will you love the you you hide if I but call your name? Will you quell the fear inside and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around through my sight and touch and sound in you and you in me? 
Lord, your son echoes true when you but call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never be the same. In your company I'll go where love and footsteps show. Thus I'll move and live and grow in you and you in